Good morning. Hi everyone. Just waiting for um, Nat Kelly to join so we can talk about Maxima for a minute. Forgive me, I'm still like half dressed, half in my pajamas, so <laughs> this is a little impromptu live. I'm looking for you, Nat. Hi guys. You have a lot more energy than her and I will. <laughs> Oops, wait, I made a mistake. Ah! How do I turn that back on? Hold on. There we go. I'm not good with technology. Hi, Hi. We did it. We did it! Good morning! <laughs> that would have been a lot smoother had you started this. All, no, 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 no. All good. Thank you for waking up so early to get on this live with me. I'm so excited to be speaking with you. I mean, full transparency, I've been up for probably six hours at this point. <laughs> mm, good morning. Thank you, Mama. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't seen your face in a long time. I know. Good to see you. Oh, nice. A little sleepy. But we're still going to go up and talk about even with the eyeliner. That's right. Do it, girl. Keep that eyeliner on. I could barely get my own on. Okay, moving into, um, so Nat and I wanted to hop on really quickly this morning just to talk about um, Maximo, which is a beautiful film about a beautiful woman. Um, and Nat actually brought this project to me. And um, I was so deeply moved at it. Maxima, sorry. Can you hear me? I think there's an echo. A little bit of an echo. An echo? Um, I was so deeply moved by Maxima's story that I, I, I didn't sleep for days. I mean, I felt like she really stayed with me and was living with me. And um, so Nat and I kind of jumped in together and said, what are we going to do? How can we make this not only super impactful for Maxima, but also spread this to the world for all of you because truly Maxima's story is our story, our collective story. Um, this isn't about one woman who is protecting her land and her life and her community and her, it's about what's going to happen to all of us uh, if we continue on the path that we're on. So Nat, if you want to speak to Maxima and her story a little bit. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you, Nikki, for um, jumping on board and using your platform for this quiz. So as Nikki mentioned, Maxima is an indigenous uh, woman in Peru. Um, she, uh, like her ancestors, uh, um, is a regenerative farmer and lives sacred intimacy with the natural world and sings to her mountains, sings to the water, sings to, uh, sings to the earth um, because she knows that the earth and the water sustain us. So why, she, as she says in the movie, like why would we not take care of our waters and our lands? And that's what she's doing. She's standing up against Newmont Mining Company, one of the biggest mining companies in the world that want to build the largest gold mine in the world on Maxima's land. And she's been holding them up for a decade now in the courts, despite uh, intimate, a lot, lot of brutality, intimidation. She's a true warrior. And, you know, at the end of the day, she's also just a mother and a woman like us. And um, and what she's doing is so inspiring. And this movie by Claudia Sparrow is so, in, it, it touched me to my core. And uh, that's why Nikki and I joined forces to put together this virtual screening this weekend. So anybody can watch Maxima for free as of now. You can see the link in my bio. Um, and Nikki's got some links too. And then Monday we have a Q&A where you get to um, bring your questions for Nikki, myself, and Claudia, the director. And yeah, we'll be going into um, more of Maxima's story and why this movie is so important right now. And also how you guys can get involved. I mean, you know, 
I just have to say, last week I posted a, uh, a petition because so many of you want to know what you can do and how you can help. And there's so much passion and that passion needs guidance. Um, there's so much of it. And I posted this petition and I've noticed too that like repetition really helps with keeping everybody engaged, myself included. There's so much out there. There's so much content. Everybody's asking for help in some capacity because truthfully, we all need it in some capacity. And so there's a lot being asked of all of you. But um, Claudia, the filmmaker, wrote me and said that uh, after that petition went out, um, they were so, so deeply moved by how many of you signed and, and got involved. And it was so sweet because I was watching in real time and so many of my friends, I would see their names, you know, you can see the names pop up and I would screenshot, you know, I didn't text my friends. They just saw this and they got involved too. And I would text my friends and go like, I can't tell you how much it means to me that you take, you know, a couple minutes out of your day to do this because you're so moved by Maxima as well. And so Maxima actually reached out to Claudia and said she wanted to, to send a gift. And, you know, maybe in that moment, that gift was directed to me for posting it. But really, that gift is for all of you, for your involvement and, and being there and showing up. And so I just want you to know that when you sign petitions, when you um, feel called and, and moved to do something because a story speaks to you, your voice and your vote matters. Um, and showing up for people matters. It makes a difference. Um, so I feel, even though I don't know Maxima personally, I feel like I do. And I know that after you watch this film, all of you will too. And she feels connected to all of you as well. So I just wanted to share that, you know, when you show up, it's felt across the whole world, it's felt. That's so beautiful. And we have the potential here to change the course of history in Peru, you know, there's an opportunity, we can get enough people to watch this movie, and we can uh, uh, ramp up the international pressure on Newmont Mine, mm -hmm. they could walk away. So that's what's at stake here, you know, so like Maxima says, why wouldn't we speak up for our clean waters and our clean air and our clean soil, like, you know, and this is something that uh, I've been meditating on a lot is how to use my voice for the voiceless. You know, there's a lot of, we've got lobbyists representing all the industries. Where's the Earth's lobby? You know, so that's got it. That's, that's who we are. And Maxima is showing us the way and inspiring us. And yeah, I'm very, I'm very excited to be um, co-hosting this virtual screening with you guys, with you, Nikki, and everybody. Uh, with everybody. Now. Yeah, we're all, everybody, we're all doing it. And, and yeah, I encourage you to go watch the movie this weekend because it's free. Mm -hmm. And then join us Monday. What time was it? Do you remember? 4 p.m. 4 p.m. for the Q&A. Um, and all those details can be found on my link tree um, or in the, um, in the link in my bio. <laughs> but um, is there anything else we should cover? Or should, I think that was it. I feel like that was it. That's really oh, we nailed it. We nailed it. <laughs> I didn't nail the opening of this, but we nailed it. Good Sleep job. Deprived, we did it. All right. Good job. To feed and back to it. But thank you guys for joining us. And please take a moment to watch the film this weekend. You know, there are movies that really um, stick with you. And maybe it's her story or maybe it's how beautifully shot this film is. Maybe it's the land. Maybe, I mean, who knows? There's so many aspects to this film that I think will really resonate with all of you for different reasons. I mean, for example, sorry, now I, I digress, but for example, you know, if, if I had pitched a film to you about, you know, farming, um, I think maybe a good percentage of you might have said, oh, that's not something that really interests me, but then you go and watch The Biggest Little Farm or you watch Kiss the Ground after you hear about soil and you're like, I don't know if I wanna watch a movie about soil. And then you watch Kiss the Ground and you go, oh, wow that I feel that movie in my body, you know, mm. and people have that reaction when they see something that's so beautiful. Um, and so this film, Maxima, has that as well. It's not, yes, it's her story, of course, and yes, it's also about what she's going through and what she's had to endure, but there's also something really beautiful and enjoyable, actually, about watching a film that's so well shot and so gorgeous and so connected to the land and the animals and the people and so anyway i encourage you to take five yeah. five minutes plus an hour and 25 minutes <laughs> to, 
to watch this over the weekend uh, with your friends, with your family, with your children, and um, join us on Monday for the Q&A. And thank you so much, Nat. I love and adore you for this impromptu live, and uh, I'll see you on Monday. See you Monday. Love you, Nikki. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye.